Hello, my name is Josh Ramutu and welcome to Pixelmate. In our last two videos, we created our shoot mechanic. The link to those videos will be on screen and in the description below. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this, where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you can also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the cannon. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. In today's video, we will be using the sprite editor to set up our tank sprites so we can rebuild our tank and create a prefab out of it. The assets we will be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. The difficulty of today's video is the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. So what I've done is in our sprites folder, I've imported our tank sprites. So we've got our wheel sprite sheet, our tread animation, and our cannon aim animation. So before we start rebuilding our tank, uh, we're gonna set up our sprites ready for animation. So I'm gonna select our wheels, and in the inspector, I'm going to change our sprite mode from single to multiple. And then we've got to apply the changes that we've made. So this is the sprite editor. And what the sprite editor is used for is to turn is to turn sprite sheets like this into um, individual assets. So in order to do that, you can uh, click and drag a box around your object. With the sprite editor, you can also trim down your box by uh, selecting it and then going to the top left corner and clicking trim. So I've trimmed down the rest of them, and what I'm going to do next is select the first one, and I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to call this wheel, underscore, top, back. So I'm going to select the next one and call it wheel, underscore, top, middle. And this one's going to be called wheel, underscore, top, front. Last two wheels are going to be called wheel underscore bottom back and wheel underscore bottom front. So I'm going to click apply at the top of the sprite editor. And now in our assets folder, we have our individual sprites. So I'm going to close our sprite editor and then I'm going to open up our Canon aim animations folder. I'm going to select the first one and then open up our sprite editor and I'm going to move our pivot point to the center of our tank. I'm just going to round these numbers up. So that's going to be 0 0.45 and that's going to be 0 0.42. So I'm going to click apply and then in our Canon aim folder, I'm going to select every single one. So control A. I'm just going to close our sprite editor down. And in our inspector, I'm going to change our pivot to custom. And then our, obviously our X value was 0 0.45. And our Y value was 0 0.42. And then I'm going to apply our changes. So what I've done is changed the pivot points of every single sprite in our Canon aim folder to match the first one we changed. So I'm going to go back to our tank folder and for our tread animation, I'm going to be leaving it how it is. So I'm going to go into our Canon aim animations folder and I'm going to click the idle frame and drag it into our hierarchy. At the moment, it's behind our tank template. So I'm going to set its uh, order layer in our sprite renderer to 2. So it's now in front. I'm just going to move it up a bit. So it's roughly over our tank template. And I'm going to rename our cannon aim to tank. So just like our tank template, I'm going to add a rigid body a collider and our player move, player jump, and bullet spawn scripts to it. So, add component physics to the rigid body 2D. 
and instead of using a box collider I'm going to use a circle collider so so add component physics 2d circle collider I'm just going to reset our offset so 0 0 and I'm going to scale it down by hovering over the radius and drag clicking and dragging left so I'm going to make the radius of this uh, circle collider uh, roughly the width of the treads and I'm also going to move it down just enough so it's not going over our ground check so now we've got to add our scripts so I'm going to go to our assets folder then go to our scripts and we want our player move so I'm going to click and drag that onto our tank our player jump and our bullet spawn so for our player jump scripts we need to create a uh, ground check object so right click create empty I'm going to re I'm going to rename that to ground check and then I'm going to click and drag that onto our ground check and we want that to interact with everything but our player which means we've got to change our tanks layer to our player layer so finally we need to get our bullets prefab and we need to create a spawn point so right click create empty I'm going to rename that to spawn point click and drag that onto our spawn point in our bullet script and I'm going to go to our prefabs folder select our tank and drag our bullet to our bullet game object so once we've done that we need to put, reposition our ground check object and our spawn point object in their correct position so I'm going to select our ground check and add a marker onto it and I'm going to move that down so it's roughly in the same position as our old ground check object and I'm going to select our spawn point and also add a icon to it and I'm going to move that in the same position as our spawn point object I'm also going to rotate it so it's pointing in the direction of the cannon and finally we need to add a trigger collider onto our spawn point so add component physics 2d box collider and then I'm going to turn it into a trigger so the last thing we've got to do is change our tag to fire point so all we've got to do now is add our tread and our wheels so if I go back to our sprites folder and go into our tank folder so the first thing I'm going to do is add our tread to our tank so I'm going to click and drag it onto our tank I'm going to scale that down a bit by using our scale tool and I'm going to scale it down so it's roughly the same size as the treads on our tank template so I'm going to rename that to just tread and then I'm going to change our order layer to free so the last thing we've got to do is add our wheels to our tank so I'm going to individually click and drag our wheels onto our tread and then I'm going to select them all and change their order layer to 4 so all we've got to do now is move them into their correct places so this is the bottom back wheel so roughly position it in front of the original tank template this is our front bottom wheel our top back our top front and for the top middle we just move it down so it's not going over our tread so now that we've created our tank what I'm going to do is go into our prefabs folder and then we could right click and then create a prefab but what I'm going to do is click and drag our tank into our prefabs folder and there we go we now have our tank prefab so that's all we're doing for today's video feel free to tune out next time where we'll be animating our tread and wheels using a mixture of code and our animations tab if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on unity 3d my name is joshua mutu and thanks for watching Thank you.